Hi there, I have supported YouTube since 2008, and while I have enjoyed being a member of the YouTube community these long years, this platform has made it clear that they do not support freedom of speech, diversity of thought, or honest scientific discussion. They have made it obvious that they would rather spend their effort on censoring voices of dissent rather than more pressing issues, such as preventing this platform from enabling totalitarianism and child exploitation. As a result, I am transitioning my content to Odyssey. So, if you enjoy and appreciate my content, but are wondering why I do not upload as often as I used to, I would encourage you to follow me to Odyssey where you can find much more of my content on hobby interests and life in general. The link to my Odyssey channel should be in this video's description. Thank you for your understanding and I hope you could join me in helping increase the hobbyist community on Odyssey. This video is brought to you by HDA Model Works. Not only did Jerry consult with me on this project, but he also provided the lighting. So go to his website, and I have a link in the description below. Buy something from him, or else I will never be your best friend. Thank you. Video 14 of this build. Oh my gosh, can you believe it? I have cut lengths of this uh, uh, brass rod here to run the wires through. And so, what I'm going to do is on this here, I have actually, the, actually these blocks here. These, uh, I got this at Daiso. I'm going to paint these black. Let's get. Oh, gosh, it's filthy. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Alright, one, two, three, and four. Okay. So, this is just a plastic tray. And then. The battery is going to be underneath, going to have it mounted underneath this, and it's going to go like so, okay? Now, here's, here's when it's going to happen. This is going to go on here in the back. The Falcon's going to be right here. I'm going to have like the X-Wings here in the middle somewhere, I guess. Okay. So, yes, these are not to scale, but, you know, whatever. The X-Wings are to scale with the uh, Falcon, so that's nice. <sighs> just have to pretend it's in the background or something. I don't, I'm really not that particular. Okay. Well, um, in order to do this here, so I have these three X-Wings that will be mounted. Um, yeah, again, I'm going to paint this black. Probably I'm going to use... Um, just the acrylic black paint. If I can find it somewhere. I'll look for it later, I suppose. Um, oh, here we go. I'll, I'll just use this, I suppose. Okay. Alright. Okay, so... Uh, what's going to happen is there we go. Now, which one is Luke's X-wing? I guess it's going to be. It's going to be this one here. This is going to be Luke. He's going to be in the front here. And I want his to be the shortest one. There we go. This is the, the short rod here. Alright, so I'm going to at attach this like so. Okay. That feed the SMDs up through here, and then since the resistors 
on the SMDs are not going to be big enough to fit through here. I'll have to just cut those and then re-solder those when I'm ready to attach them to the thing here. Okay. So here, it's going to be, as you can see, it's like at, a, at an angle. Okay, that's R2-D2 there. And then I'm going to have wedge and then like just a fictitious, I don't know what I'm going to do, just like a red 4 or something rather, I don't know. And so with these, the way that they've been molded, some of the R2 units were like a bit taller than the other ones. And so what I did with this one here is since this was so much taller, I filed the top flat. I'm going to try to make him into like an R R4 or R R R5 uh, unit here. Okay. Yeah, never mind. R4 is the the clear domed R2, I think, if I remember right. I don't know. So yeah, that's what I'm going to plan on doing. All right, so. Kind of be like tilted like to this way, the opposite way. So what I need to do is uh, do the SMDs on these guys, secure them into position in here, into the holes where the, the thruster cans are, then, yeah, this is not moving now, uh, then we're going, I'm, I'm going to uh, glue them together, yeah, and then put some, uh, some uh, crap in there, that uh, the tacky stuff to fill in the holes here. Oh, by the way, I, I in, in honor of uh, Biggs, uh, one of the engine cans is shorter than the other ones. I, I filed it down like that, and I didn't like the way it looked anyways, so there you go. Yeah, and then uh, I'm going to have to glue this and uh, start painting, guys. i prime these guys black. I also need to make sure that there's no light leak, although I'm pretty sure I've already done that. So, yeah. Alright, I have prepped one of the X-Wings so far. I'm going to show you how I did that. It's actually kind of nice <laughs> doing multiple kits like this because I can fumble around with the first one, figure out how I want to do it, and then go, you know, go from there. Alright, so I have just temporarily taped these in place, okay? Alright, so what you see here, uh, I'm using a Hitsuki Mushi. It's just basically like a sticky tack. Now I'm going to pull this apart here. Alright. Now here are four 
SMDs. These are 0402 SMDs. Buy yours from HDA Model Works or I hate your guts and I'll never forgive you. How's that? I'll never be your best friend. Okay, they are pre-wired. There's no way, unless you have a microscope or something like, like that with a special setup rig. Um, you, you can't do this. These things are too, too small. They already come with the proper resistors for anywhere between 9 to 12 volts. So, how great is that? Well, let me tell you, it's awesome. Okay, let's just shut up. All right, now I'm going to just cram all four of these suckers right into this. Come on. Get in there. <laughs> Maybe if I do this in separate steps. There we go. Push all of these up. There. Now I got a whole bunch of these now. And then, one by one, feed these into the engine cans. And I want to make sure that they are all in, like, in the same depth of penetration into each of these. Otherwise, they're not going to match right, and they're going to look kind of strange. So let me feed this guy into here. All right, let's try this one first. Come on. There. Okay, get in there. Come on. All right, I'm going to use my tweezers here to help push that in. Oh, and it's not going in. Not going in. I think I might need to re-drill this, so I'll be right back. I use my 1.2 millimeter uh, uh, drill bit here. All right, let's try this again. Nope. Oh, nice. Wait. There. See that just poked right out. Okay. Now. I'm going to use this stuff here. Because I want to just keep this in place first and then use the uh, epoxy glue. Uh, see, now that's sucked in too far. Put this in a little bit more. There. Okay. There. Okay. Let's do another one. Let me see if I can zoom in. There we go. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so, um, I had originally tried to do this with, uh, I, I had tried doing this with fiber optics and it just wasn't quite right and some of the optic fibers got crimped and they didn't shine so well. And uh, Jerry at HDA, HDA Model Works, I was talking with him, and uh, he suggested using these uh, SMDs, and he gave me a bunch of them. So, yeah, this video is definitely sponsored by HDA Model Works, right? <laughs>
Okay. There we go. There. Now I'm going to do that to the bottom, but I'll show you what to expect with this other guy here. Alright, so one, two, three, four. Come on, jerk. There we go. Come on. <laughs> Come on. All right. Okay. Come on, jerk. Get in the hole. There. There. You see? That looks awesome, guys. This is going to be great. See, now the, the bottom ones here light up, too. Um, I'm not going to try to push it too far, though. What I need to do is uh, use the epoxy glue. Uh, but you see what's happening, guys. Neat. All right, this is Wave two-part epoxy glue, A and B. This is uh, brand new. Poke that open. Mm. Oh, that smells so bad. I mean, it really does. I mean, holy crap, right? Dude, it stinks. I don't like the smell. I have the window open at least. This stuff is stinky as hell. Alright. Two part. Two part. Mm. Alright. Now it's even stinkier, I swear. All right. I'm going to put plenty in there. Just want to secure these. I've already tested these out. And this is going to have to dry. And then afterwards I can pull out the the white tack stuff. Hmm. Looks like I'm going to need to make some more putty or uh, epoxy glue to do the other two X-Wing fighters. But this is going to hold it together. And I, again, I double checked it, you know, just, just a bit ago to make sure that these are all lighting up, right? Well, it's just, just to be paranoid, which is good to be paranoid, right? When you're, when you're dealing with this kind of stuff, you don't want to seal this up just for it to not work. Okay, we're going to put all four of these Touching this, and what I did is I soldered here. Now all four of them, oh, you can't see that. As you can see, all four of them are lighting up. All four of them are lighting up perfectly fine. Okay. All right, X-Wings are ready to go. Don't worry about that. Actually, this is a Cylon Raider electronics I'm doing for uh, Rebels of Cloud Nine. So these these two orange lights and then these uh, four flickering lights. Anyhow, these X wings look pretty awesome. Okay, guys. <clears throat> As you can see here, these are all lighting up. All right, everything is behaving. Everything looks fine. So, what I need to do is just gently kind of tug on these. And 
and feed these through. Let's let's do these black wires here. Because these uh, are the most in the way. Now what I did was uh, I soldered all of the black wires onto one little lead, like um, this this here. Sorry, I got my fingers. These are there we go. This right here. So let me kind of uh, gently pull these into place. So that I may glue these together. Except that oh, not all of these black wires are wanting to cooperate. Oh, there we go. I just got to find the right one. There. That's nice now. And this one has that peg right there. So this is actually a snap kit. There we go. And I filed the back flat on all of these. Alright, so... What I will do is glue these together. There we go. They also get glued here. Underneath the wings. There. Nice. Make sure we get plenty of glue here. is going to stay tight, closed, and then I'm going to cover up the little lights and then uh, black primer this stuff and then uh, start painting, right? So make sure this is, yeah, it looks all right, I guess. Make sure this is lined up. I might have to do some sanding. So I had to pry some of these open, right? It was in an earlier video, I don't know, video six, I have no idea. Seven, some sometime in, you know, f further back, I had uh, tried the fiber optics and I pried one apart. And I th actually, I think this might be the, the newer one. So I have like uh, the the Hoth base one and I have the uh, the the Hoth battle scene and the Hoth battle scene comes with one X-Wing while the hangar comes with several and the hangar one I have is NPC and it was re-released by Ertl AMT same company really but uh, when it was re-released, I think they did some retooling. So like right here, so I can show this up close. Right here, I put these in myself. These are like little uh, pieces of styrene to cover up because there were like em empty holes. This one, they were actually filled in. So they must have uh, retooled it somehow. Plus the detail just, to me, just seems a little bit sharper. So... 
Let's find which... Oh, there we go. Just got to tug on the right cables here. Because we don't... I want it to be tight in there. I don't want the wires to get smashed. Because then maybe the thing's not going to fit properly, right? There we go. There we go. It just kind of just comes together. Like so. Alright, now I'm going to plug this one in before I glue it into place. But um, you can see though, I had removed most of the, the putty. That the, I'm not sorry, not, not putty, but that sticky tack. The Hitsuki Mushi stuff. Which I learned about from uh, Model Art Magazine. So this is, again, this is a Japanese product. Um, you can use it for camouflage. All sorts of neat crap like that. Alright, so this is, this is doing well. Let's do the same thing for this guy here. Now this one does not have the locator peg, because it had like this little peg that just kind of just sticks out, and I guess that's supposed to be its landing gear or something. It's kind of dumb. Well, I guess this is pretty much it. Let's get this lined up. Make it uh, flat. And then start glowing here. There. Nice. nice keeps moving around on me actually I might have to just hold this still <sighs> I just need some patience okay there yep this is the one that I had previously glued together and um in case you didn't see it, what you do is, if you have something glued together and you need to pull it apart, just keep applying this uh, thin, super thin glue, and let it soak up, and it's going to reactivate the glue that's in, in there, and that way you can uh, eventually soften it up, pull it apart. That's the really nice thing about this stuff. Can't do that with super glue, that's for sure. Oh my. Alright, this is. I'm just gonna have to hold this for a while, apparently. I like this stuff a lot. And I'm gonna 
fill in the hole here. It's a bit of a gap. My fault, really, I think, is the way. I don't know. But, uh. Here we go. That's good. Alright, five minutes, okay? Ooh. Got a little f nasty. Uh, let's use a toothpick, maybe. There. Spread this all around that way. if it's really worth trying to close that in. Might be kind of a pain in the butt, maybe. Try to fill in that gap there. Maybe it's not going to be that noticeable. I don't know. Yeah, I'll try. It's not going to look really the best, but whatever. Alright, so um, perhaps the next time I turn this camera on, I will have received the parts. I'm going to try to rip replicate these um, the engine to sell um, fronts that people mistakenly think of them as uh, air intake uh, turbines, right? Because they're not. These things fly in space, right? They uh, they don't use the primitive technology. It's funny how many so many people. I saw several people on forums. They're all. They even had like a comic somebody had come up with to make fun of the the Disney uh, X wings. They're like ha 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 ha. They they there's just one big thing and it splits down the middle and then. And then the, the 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 turbines are going to fall apart, ha ha ha. But it's actually like taken directly from old Ralph McQuarrie concept arts, and I have seen people who have built the uh, Resistance X-wing uh, with a, a custom paint scheme to make it look like Ralph McQuarrie's artwork, and I think that was pretty awesome looking. All right, I am going to. Maybe kind of rub the excess off here. There. No. It's not going to line up, but at least it's not going to be a hole, I guess. I will also need... Actually, I can do that here. Um... I need to sand this down here, along the fuselage here. Hmm. So actually I'm back, same evening. I got the backs of these X-Wings that I've made. I mean, it doesn't look totally awesome, but it's better than nothing, right? So in the original model, there's like a tank hatch or something like that. Let me zoom in here. There's like a tank hatch that goes here. And I made sure that uh, Luke Skywalker's is uh, turned upwards and actually it was the part was like uh, where they had inserted the, the electronics so that you know, the electrical connection so that uh, it would you know they can illuminate it right 
So if they're showing it from the front, they would put it in that way and then, you know, it's coming towards you and they would uh, attach it somewhere else when they're showing it, you know, going away. So this one, yeah, this R2 unit was kind of really tall. So I, I had uh, sanded it flat. This is going to be an R5 unit. All right, so now this is the one I had chosen for Luke. And there we go. Okay. I'm hoping that when I prime it, it's gonna look better. That's what I noticed with the the Millennium Falcon is that uh, when I after you know it looked kind of weird, but once I put the primer on it, it looked more uniform. Everything kind of blended together more. It looked nice. So here we go. There we go. Now what I'm gonna do is I don't want to use the sticky tab because I don't want it to like really stick to the SMDs in there. I'm just gonna get some like little circular masking and I have that actually. Let me show you. It is by HiQ Parts I believe. There you go. Circle masks. Oops. Alright, I'm gonna use these to uh, mask off the, the, the engine cans. All right, I have waves, three millimeter plastic pipes. Now I got this pipe cutter tool here. Unfortunately, it can, it's, this is a little bit too small for it. I'm able to use like the five millimeter plastic pipe from Tamiya. It works all right. For this though, yeah, unfortunately it's not working. So, the problem is though, is that this gets smushed when you cut it. I have a toothpick crammed in here. Okay. Now, why am I, hold on, let me back up here. Why am I doing this? Well, let me show you here. I want these uh, nacelle openings the the op the not openings but people want to call them intake jet intakes but they're not because these are it's a space fighter so duh um whatever are these the heads of these engine nacelles here okay i'm going to try to recreate the deco or the detail that's what we're doing here now let me show you this one was maybe not quite the same the right size all right so the toothpick provides support while I'm cutting on this. I am measuring with my ruler here, one millimeter segments, and with my Gundam marker here. Let me just mark a little segment right there. Now, this is kind of difficult. Just gotta go slowly. Okay, so just uh, start sawing, and then also kind of pushing it forward. Push, 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 push. Just kind of roll it towards, uh, you know, in front of me, while this continues to cut. I just want to keep this more or less straight so that it doesn't, like, get tapered on one end or whatever. And uh, that's what was happening when I was trying to freehand this. Um, and if I try to do this without the toothpick, then it gets kind of smushed, deformed, and it doesn't cut right. Just slowly, slowly, slowly work on this here. Uh, until it finally gives way. And when it finally gives way, it's like all at once, pretty much. <laughs> 
Oh my. Hmm. Come on. Come on. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. Here it comes. There. I see I'm not really damaging the wood inside there. But what you see here are more or less uniform. I can maybe uh, file a bit. But that is it. So... Let me continue with this. I've got to do this for all three of the X-Wings, guys. And I think... Let me hold this up here so you can see it from the side. I think one millimeter is going to do it. That's going to be about right, I guess. And uh, is that tapered or not? Maybe if it's tapered, I'll put it on like this. Glue it into position like so. It's going to look cool, I hope because the way it is, it's just totally flat. You can see I sanded it totally, and so I've, I've lost the, the black paint that I put on there, that light blocking paint, which isn't really that necessary, I don't think. Uh, anyhow, yeah, I'll, I'll just continue doing this. Okay, Tommy is cement. I'll lay down. Thin coat. Okay. There we go. Just gonna place these into position here. Ah, oh, crap. This dried up too quickly. looks so cool. I have to be honest, I, I was really disappointed that this didn't work, but, it, you know, and cutting by hand I had a hard time, but the toothpick, it really helps out. It provides the support so that the plastic doesn't get smushed, and then I can kind of roll it forward and have a more or less a clean cut. And so far... This is looking pretty, pretty fantastic. I just need to make sure it's like completely centered. And, you know, <sighs> all right, I'm going to switch the SP here because this is already in position here. Let me just touch this on here. It shall reactivate the glue and then I can move this more easily again. There we go. Just want to make sure that this is even with the outside or the, the the top and the bottom and symmetrical. There, move this up. This one's okay. There we go. This one goes here. That one goes there. <laughs> All right, and then I'll have to work on that uh, T connector. There's a, like a little teak in each of these, right? And then I will cut up some styrene strips and see how that looks and then go from there, guys. here. Keep this in place, hopefully. Hopefully, that's the idea. Tape this other end over here. Okay. Oh, crap. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Hmm. That seems to be straight. Okay. All right. Mm. More tape. Tape this. doing it I, I think I'm doing it all right so this is nice and thin nice and thin now let me uh, untape this guy here I'm guessing about two millimeters on the inside uh, what does it say Package. 2.2 millimeters. All right, I was right. So, you want it to be tight in there, right? Let's move this stuff out of the way. Okay. Okay. Now... What I would like to do... Mm. Alright, I'm left-handed. I need to do it this way. Tee-hee-hee. Two 2.2, it's about right there, I'm guessing. Mm. There we go. Okay, come on. Come on. Hmm. Okay. That's not gonna fit. Not gonna fit. hamming it up. I'm gonna have to go in there. It's tired of this crap. Sorry about that. Alright. This is almost gonna fit. Oh, oh my gosh. Can you even imagine how happy I am right now? I mean, look at that. Oh my cow. Oh my frickin' cow. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. All right, SP. Mr. Cement SP. Dude, maybe I'll do the black, actually. That might be a better way to go. That way I can see... If for sure what's going on. I'm going to use that here. Okay. So what's going on in the other room, as you can hear, my daughter's being a turd about her homework, and I'm going to get involved right now, so stay tuned. I'm going to end this video here. In the next video, 
It shall entail painting. I'm gonna paint, prime these guys black and then paint them and lay down those uh, fine molds decals that I had scanned and shrunk down. And so hopefully they'll fit out to these X wings. So uh, before I go though, I will just have to say one thing. Too many people in the hobby these days, they just expect to get a model kit that they can just shake the parts up in the box and then and then out falls a, a completely assembled kit. They will complain about the uh, accuracy of these, especially with these older kits and such. And uh, personally, I, I find that just to be kind of rather irritating. I have to say that I have really, really enjoyed working on these kits. You know, like these X-Wings, of course, you just saw me. I did these intakes here. I'm sorry, not the intakes, whatever these are. These, uh, the, the, the fronts of these engine nacelles, right? They're not intakes, so shut up. You know, doing the, the sewing pins and uh, putting these in as, as the, the laser cannons, adding these little things back here, doing the back plates with the Falcon, opening up the front and the back, adding the Greeblies, redoing the, the dish, replacing the, the cannons with decent cannons. Uh, you know, doing all the the piping and such on the on the side walls, and of course also adding a bunch of greeblies into the side walls of the rebel transport and such, making it a lot more interesting in there to look at. Uh, this has been uh, not only fun but just challenging, and it's it's helped me to sharpen my my skills quite a bit and doing stuff that I might not have if you just get kits that just automatically you know look fine the way they are instead of working on making them look better so yeah I really enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you in the next video bye